right, here's what you've been waiting for, that inside tour. Let's head on in. All right, so first of all, these stickers are all gonna come off. This guy here is the latch to hold so that when you've got it all closed up for the night, you can have that open, a little more walking space to move around. And to the left of the stairs, you've got your generator control. So you've got your shore power selector, shore, off generator, in and out for your slide tray, the step switch. So that is this step out here you can open and close. Uh, that is your step light. And then you've got your generator oil, water, and hours. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up so you can see your fire up. Come down to preheat the, the motor. Come right on up. And there you can see. Burn like a kitten. There's a little helicopter flying off in the distance there, so don't let that sound confuse you. That is not coming from the bus. Alrighty, so let's head on in. So as you walk in, that door is to the restroom. Sorry, it looks like there's a few fingerprints. I apologize, that's what happens when you have a four-year-old. Alrighty, here she is. Wow, 30, almost 36 years old. She still looks like this, beautiful. All right, so you've got storage and storage underneath. So these just fold down and you've got some storage in there. This one's gonna be a little shallower. Got some electronics in there. Then on the other side, you're gonna have three of those. So you've got the very back one here. Next one. And another. So lots and lots of storage space. We had a family of five living in here full time for eight months. And it held our clothes, our stuff, our books, everything. So these overhead cabinets, I've replaced all the shocks. So you'll see that they open and stay open, which is a real nice thing. Those shocks are not inexpensive. That's a switched inverter. So if you ever wanna invert power off the battery in a small way, you can do that there. These are curtains for the front windshield. There are both uh, blinds that come down here and curtains. So you can have one or the other or both. So you'll see the storage cabinet is in great shape. Those are just some miscellaneous parts and tools. And then you also have a propane on off switch back there. And these little guys cover up all the uh, wiring connections. So if you ever need to access those 12 volt wiring connections, that's all gonna be right there. So there you go, the sides all opened up looking great. You've got your overhead here. So you've got speaker, air vent, speaker, air vent. And you've got your uh, warning lights here. You've got an amplifier and an upgraded sound system. And here are your gauges. So the gauges generally work really well. Uh, the fuel gauge does not work. Um, it reads about a quarter of a tank lower than it actually is. So it technically does work, but it's just always gonna read a little low. Even when you fill all 265 gallons in that tank, she's gonna read it about three quarters. So I've just uh, kept a mileage log, generally fill the tank up every thousand miles and you're pretty good to go. Uh, this does have the musical horns and let's just take a listen, they do work. Let's go on. So there you go, musical horns, all uh, 40 or so songs programmed in there. You got that nice classic white steering wheel. Got a high speed, uh, high speed switch for the radiator fan. This is the drivetrain retarder. It's a supplemental braking system, saves your need to use the brake, saves wear and tear and increases safety because it shortens your stopping distance. These are upgraded flex steel white leather seats. 
These were almost $7,000 for the pair is what I've heard from a prior owner. And they are comfy. Great way to cruise down the road in style. I don't know if you can see the backup camera. That's just happening on video. I can see it just fine on my end, but uh, that's working great. And this here is the dog house where the engine is. And you got your passenger area here. Again, seats are same seat in great shape. Really, really beautiful coach here. And we'll open these guys, let you see in all those. Those are the original manuals, some records, the original electrical blueprints, some fun things like that. All right. Then you've got your electronic section in here. So it does have the electric antenna. You can go up and down with there. I'll go ahead and raise that. All right, we're almost done. And let's go take a little peek outside so you can see that antenna up in the sky. There she is, just in case you need her. Uh, an idea I had was to put a cell phone extender on that, and then you've now got a cell phone extender that's like 15 feet in the air. So that's an idea of something you could do with that. It'll click once it's down. There we go. All right, you've got your cabinets. Obviously, as you can see, the wood is in great shape. And this cabinet here is just two shelves. Nice shape in there. Again, everything is very, very clean and well kept. And then you've got over here, you've got a drawer on the other side. So a huge, deep drawer. Same thing on the bottom. And look at this construction. That's solid wood. They just don't build them like this anymore. You've got propane heat here and chassis heat there that runs off the motor. So that's a real great feature to have. You'll see the couches are in great shape. That is just a little bit of a shadow. You can see, just shadow. All right, carpet's in great shape. Here's the other couch. Clean, 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 beautiful. All right, here we call this the box. So you've got your some connections up there. And then as we open this, you've got uh, you've got storage. There's a rack up there where you can hang coats. All the interior lights have all been upgraded to LED. Low power consumption, lasts forever, doesn't burn out. Uh, that's going to be your central vacuum. So there's some spare vacuum bags. But that is your uh, central vacuum here. You got a switch there to turn it on. Uh, I can't turn it on right now because I'm not connected to shore power. Got to have the generator shore power on for that guy. All right, moving back. Look at these floors, they're beautiful. There's another heater. You will not get cold in this coach. All right, so beautiful, beautiful. Again, same condition here. Dinette is in great shape. So this comes down and this turns all into a bed. I'm not gonna do that right now, but it's fairly easy to do. You've got your overhead storage here again. All these cabinets have been replaced with new shocks. About $500 worth of shocks in here. And these are, you guessed it, the original Bluebird Cups. We've got all six of them. Came with the coach. And they are still there and in great shape. So there you go. Food storage or whatever you want to do with it. Great for plates and cups, things like that. Bowls. You've got on the far left the doorbell. That does not work. I don't know what's going on there. You've got your built-in smoke detectors, light switch, and another propane heater. Spinning right around to the kitchen, you'll find you've got overhead cabinets here, so lots of storage. You will not be short on space. You've even got a little cubby up here if you want to put some small things in there. Got your microwave, convection oven. Got your stove top, uh, microwave convection oven, blew a fuse, so I gotta work on that. Uh, you've got your stove top here. And what 1980s coach would be complete without an ice maker? So there's an ice maker for you. 
and we've got cabinets here. Hey, look, Ma, another heater. Okay, this is pretty cool. Built into the countertop is a silverware tray, so that's pretty cool. And you've got your sink here. Sink is in great shape. Pretty pretty. We'll run some, run some water for you. I'll turn the water pump on. So water pump is right over here. You've got refrigerator fan, water pump. So there we go. She's got to prime a little bit. I haven't been running water for a while here. There we go. There you go. She's running. Alrighty. You do have your tank monitor here. The black tank monitor is not reliable. The others are great. So full, fresh, empty gray. The black's kind of always reading that. It is empty right now. Then your propane gauge. You've got power monitors and you can also start and stop your generator from right here as well. So same story, hold it down and then come on up. And I don't know if you can hear, but that's all you hear of the generator when you're inside. And I do have that door open. So you got sound coming in from that door. It's a pretty quiet generator, good upgrade. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that back off. Turn the water heater off, or water pump. All right, back to sleeping quarters. And you've got in the hallway, you've got your fridge and freezer. Sorry, we've got stuff in here still, but uh, there's your fridge and freezer. So good size, good size. Store plenty of food in there for two people, easily a week's worth of food storage. And oh, I love this picture window. I am gonna miss waking up to views like that out that window. I mean, it is just incredible. So you've got between the two beds, you've got drawers here. And these are uh, new mattresses. These mattresses are only about eight months old. They are custom size to fill that space. They're about 80 inches long by about 30 inches wide. And these are brand new, never used sheets. So you are literally ready to hit the road. You don't need to do anything. Sheets are new. She runs like a dream. I'll start her up for you in just a minute. Storage overhead. Storage here overhead. So lots and lots and lots of storage. Another storage over the other bed. So there you go. All right, coming down. So this is all kind of spin around. So that's the picture window out back. You've got your bed here. Nice large window there. We're down at the beach. So you've got your bed here. It's gonna come just as you see it. Beautiful, clean, comfortable, ready for you to adventure. And then another window here. These are also, I don't know if you can really see these, but these are uh, metal screens. They're not, they're not your normal, uh, like cheap nylon screens. Those are like, I think stainless steel or aluminum screens. And you've got storage. You've got a drawer here. You've got another drawer below. And you've got a large one that you can store bigger things or dirty clothes. Let's take a look at these closets. There are two slash three closets. There's two there. This front one we've turned into a pantry. You can see that in just a second. You've got another one. I apologize. I've got some stuff in this first one. So... It's got overhead hanging and guess what that is the original clock that came with it she is not working uh needs a little work to get that dialed back in this is a coffee table that came with it so uh, you can just fold that up and put it out front if you want it we just leave it there this closet is nice and big you've got a mirror on it right there so Let's take a look here. You got your electrical panel back there. 
That is cedar, smells nice, keeps your clothes fresh. And there she is. Talk about pantry storage. This stuff can all easily be taken out if you want more hanging space or if you want a large pantry, you've got it. There's also lips on each one to keep your stuff from sliding off the shelf while you're driving. There you go, proof positive. I just drove 15 miles to take pictures and cans are still in place. You've got your hoses for the central vacuum and then a fender well. All right, one last place to look at. That's the bathroom and then you have seen Mothership. All right. So here we go. Look at these awesome retro vibes. So you got your tilting, hello, you've got a tilting mirror up there. You do in the both the bathroom, you've got your roof fan in the bathroom. You've also got one in the bedroom and one in the living room. So you've got your mirror, sink and countertop are obviously original and in excellent shape. Above the toilet, you've got storage with shelving. So that's nice. And this is a new Thetford porcelain full-size toilet. Why be uncomfortable when you use the restroom? Foot pedal down there. You got storage underneath. And let's take a look at this clean, clean shower. Look at that. She is still in great shape. No weird smells anywhere in the coach. Just beautifully clean, beautifully clean. And this is a fun little feature for when you're needing to dry out some clothes or towels after a day at the beach or just a shower. Pull this on out and you've got a hanging rack inside your shower is a great feature. All right, you're gonna pull there. Again, these are uh, all LED lights. And this is a air vent. So you just push this up. And there's a little button there. Take out all that moisture in the air. All righty, there you go. Bluebird, Wander Lodge, Mothership. New white hexagon tile flooring, clean and great shape. There she is. Send me a message if you have any questions or want pictures of anything. If I miss something by chance, happy to take it for you and send it your way.